Hello, my name is Mark from JazzGuitarLessons.net. So today we're uh, going to look at one chord in the blues, and it's called a six chord. Uh, the reason behind this is I've seen uh, there's a series that has been developing on you know different tricks that you can play on blues. Can you use bar four to use tritone subs, or you can use different scales everywhere. But in this video, I'd really like to target one chord that has been um, well, that is really important in the sense that if you want to carry, you want to convey a jazz e sound to your blues. It's the thing that's very unique about jazz players playing on the blues. And that sixth chord is located in bar eight. So today we'll do B flat blues. So one bar of B flat. One, two, three, four, B flat, you can find all the wet, B flat seven, and then to B flat, then some sort of down in there. B flat, sometimes a diminished. Bar seven, and now to a G of seven. That's a sixth chord. Why is the sixth chord? It's the sixth chord in the key of B flat. One, two, three, four, five, six is G7. So in this video, we're going to look at three possibilities for three different chords that you can play, and three possibilities for three different scales that go with that same chord. Uh, why are we using the sixth chord? And the theory of it is that G7 is the chord that's going to resolve the C minor seven in bar nine because that's the two five one that's coming after, right? And then we're going to B flat. And um, why I want to take so much time using talking about only this chord is that often people just get there and they're puzzled. You know, we've been exploring, of course, you know, the one chord, that's cool, you can play blues lines, and there's the E flat chord, play and play stuff, and then towards the end you have the 251, and people study the 251 at great lengths and stuff, but that bar eight has been, well, there's a lack of love there, I think. So we'll just spend a lot of time uh, talking about it. First solution for the chords. What I think is best in terms of sound for now, uh, to, just to get started, is to play G7, flat 13, flat 9. And if you want to play it on the first four strings, it goes like this. So it's really uh, 3, 4, 4, 4. Use two fingers. And that's a G of some sort. So I'll play a full course of comping. And in bar 8, you can play this chord with me. A 1, 2, 3, 4. It's coming. One, two, three, four now. C, F, and turn around. That's it. So that's the first choice. You can see that in the PDF also. So you have your G7, flat 13, flat 9. If you want to play it up in an inversion, you play it here. Same notes, but they're appearing in different order. So the frets are 9, 10, 9, 11. So you have the tritone and uh, the flat line and the sh flat 13 on top. Cool, so that's your first solution for what to play in that bar 8. Why are we not playing just a G, a regular 13? Because it would have an E natural. And the E natural really clashes in regard to the tonality of the blues because we're in B flat. And it clashes too because we're going to C minor. So if there's an E natural, it sounds like C major. We want that note. Cool, so that's your first solution. Second solution in terms of playing a chord, um, to me, it's simply to play the 2 5 1 in the minor key. So you're going to play D minor 7 flat 5, G7 flat 9, or flat 9 flat 13, altered like we did before, resolving to the C, like this. Something like that. Or you can play it up, up here. The C minor, of course, is your bar nine. The C minor is your two and your two five one. So that's it. So let's play a chorus and I'll play the two and the five. Um, so D minor seven flat five to G seven in bar eight. A one, two, three, four. Yeah. 
ten. That's a five, one, six, two, five, one. Great. So that sounds fairly basic, but in the midst of accompanying somebody or in the midst of soloing, you'll find that this is opening up your doors instead of just staying on the B flat major and playing in blues, whatever. You kind of put motion and you put uh, some, set of, some sense of direction because of the tension created by the dominant chord. So that's the second option. Third option for chord is altered. So you're going to play G7 altered, which is the equivalent of saying everything is altered. We have a tritone. That's it. And then you can have sharp 5 or flat 5 or sharp 9 or flat 9 or, or all of them. So let's say for now we're going to play a sharp 9, sharp 5. Here. So the frets are 3, 4, 4, 6. 3, 4, 4, 6. Of course, once again, you can revert it and play it like this. And have the same note. So it's 9, 10, 11, 11. 9, 10, 11, 11. So this is called G7 sharp 5, sharp 5. Let's play a full chorus with that chord and bar it. You ready? A one, two, three, four. Now. That's it. So we'll stick around because now we're looking at... Now we're looking at how do you want to improv with that. Uh, that being said, those are three almost distinct choices of scales for that bar. So we're only talking about bar eight, the G7 chord still. So what you want to do first is to play on drum roll C harmonic minor. Why C harmonic minor? Uh, usually we will call this harmonic minor of destination because we're going to C and we will employ the mode of G7 coming from C harmonic minor. And why am I pitching this at you right now? Because if you know B flat mixolydian scale, which is just a B flat seven, right? It's just almost like B flat major, but with a flat seven. Look at it, change one note. You're gonna change the B flat note for B natural. Sorry. That's C harmonic minor. So now we're saying, all right, we're going from B flat seven blues and we're changing one note and that note in question is the B flat that becomes B natural and now we have C harmonic minor, not bad. I mean, we're not changing 12 notes, we're just thinking of one note difference. And why we're doing this? Because the G7 flat nine, flat 13 that we played at first is outlined by this thing. Right? So that's your first scale choice. So you take a solo, and when you're in bar 8, you think of C harmonic minor, or you think of raising the B flat to a B natural, and you will be set. So let me play a chorus for you in improv, and you can perhaps play the chord for me, which will be this chord in bar 8. Ready? Blues. A 1, 2, B flat blues now. harmonic minor you see the choice is not that far-fetched if you played it from root G it would sound like this so that's a chord our second option that we explored we said all right let's do D minor 7 flat 5 to G7 in bar 8 in place of just G7 and guess what you're going to use the exact same scale C harmonic minor to outline this 2 5 2 C minor. So it's a 2 5 in C minor, and the C minor is in fact the 2 of the tune. So it's like a secondary 2 5 minor that's going to the 2. And now you're in for a treat because I never do show licks uh, in, in real life, in, uh, like in jazz, and now I'm going to show you a few licks because there's a few videos on jazzguitarlessons.net already for which I talk about. Um, how to outline 2-5, it's called Make Your Licks, I think, or something like that. It's on YouTube, you can look it up. 
And there's three basic outlines that are going to be in the PDF that I want you to look at because they're the basis for everything else to outline uh, 2-5 properly. So the first lick goes like this. That's D minor 7 flat 5. First one is... And that last note is on C minor. Second lick is... That's all written out. And of course, the third one is... So every one of them cover only bar 8 and the next note, one note of the bar 9, okay? So uh, let's see if I can play a chorus really fast, and um, I'll play three choruses really fast and try to play the licks in the right spot in bar 8. I'm putting myself on the spot, I love this. A one, two, B flat blues now. faster tempo I just wanted to save up some time in your life and in my life so you can really get an idea of where the licks the lick is so this still outlines C harmonic minor but it conveys the sound of changing from D minor 7 flat 5 to a G7 so you have best of both worlds you have still have the 2 and the 5 in the key of C minor resolving to a C minor cool lastly last thing I want to show you in this video is you remember our third choice for the chord, I said it's altered, right? So I said G7, sharp 5, sharp 9, like this, like a big, like, monster chord. So what scale should we use for this? Yes, it's the altered scale. The altered scale is fairly simple to grasp in theory, but the only thing you have is really a tritone to describe the G7, and then all the altered notes. So you have G, you have F and B, so that's like 1, 3, and 7, and then the rest are just alterations, sharp 9, uh, flat 9, sharp 5, flat 5. So the scale goes like this, you're in G, but you want to play A flat, harmo uh, a flat melodic minor. That's it. So that's the type of sound you'll get. So when you get to bar 8 of B-flat blues, if you're adventurous, you could use this one. It's nice because it's really tense, it's like, ah, and then you resolve back to your C minor. So let me play a chorus for you, and in bar 8, I'll play, I'll try to play at least, on G7 altered, which is the same thing as A-flat melodic minor. You ready? A 1, 2, a 1, B-flat blues. time for you to uh, to get a hold of especially if you want to go straight for the altered one uh, because it's a bitch sorry sorry to announce that so to do a quick recap three solutions to play on the bar eight on the sixth chord of the blues in our case in B flat blues it's a G7 chord first solution you play on harmonic minor of destination G7 you play on C harmonic minor which winds up to being G7 flat 9 flat 13 second solution Instead of playing just on G7, you're going to play on D minor 7 flat 5, G7 flat 9 flat 13, still use the same harmonic minor scale, play the chords as written in the PDF, and use my tree licks as a guideline for, for outlining this part of the tune. Third choice, altered, as we just discussed, a scale that is really hard, G7 altered, G7 sharp 5, sharp 9 is equal to A flat melodic minor, 
And uh, why are we doing this in the first place? So a quick recap, because in blues, one of the things that's really specific in particular about jazz men playing blues that they will use this dominant at this place to get to the C minor chord that's right after. So the sixth chord, G7, is used to get to the two chord, because G7 is the dominant of C minor, and that's why we use this. It's something that you don't really find in country blues, or you don't really find this if you play uh, like straight ahead rock blues or rock-ish uh, traditional blues, or if you play whatever, acoustic, you're not necessarily going to be specific about this chord. But in jazz, you have this, plus you have all other things that people have built, um, I mean, in the jazz tradition, around blues, such as Parker blues, bird blues with a lot of two fives, or other, uh, you know, Wayne Shorter type of blueses where you get different chords in different places. So uh, that's it for today. Please always let me know if there's any type of questions, and I will see you soon on jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. Take care. See you next time.